Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this uh, video, I want to talk about a multiple document interface window. The best example for this kind of uh, application is Microsoft Outlook, uh, it's, which is used by millions of people all around the globe, really. I'm sure all of us start our used to start, at least people start their uh, daily morning with uh, opening Microsoft Outlook. So this is a screenshot from Microsoft Outlook 2016. So, and uh, well, I mean, yeah. So how can you create such a application or such a window where when I talk about, so you have a window here, which shows you on the left side, you get a tree view here. Then you have a list view here, and then you can have another view here. And then on the top, you have this big toolbar. So how to create such thing? Uh, I mean, I have worked in the GUI uh, programming for a large company and we used to use C++ and MFC to create such an application. In fact, we also created add-ins for Microsoft Outlook as well. So in this short video, which I want to just quickly point out how one can create a multiple document interface window, which is a very complex topic and it can't be covered in in 10 minute YouTube video. So this is just like to give you an idea of what how to create one and then you can explore on your own on your to yeah basically uh, read some stuff on the net as well but just to show you what is involved so let me so i'll just uh, let me start let's launch visual studio so as usual i'm using the new version of visual studio that is 2022 which I have downloaded from the Microsoft website and it has been installed with C++ uh, desktop C++ development options which will also install Microsoft Foundation Classes Library MFC and all the necessary C++ components well I am uh, I have I still don't know Inspire after all these years how can uh, how one can create such an application in uh, using uh, WPF if you have any idea yeah please uh, put it in the comments if you have any example of how to create this multiple document interface windows in uh, C sharp uh, by the way Microsoft Outlook uh, was also written in C++ as well up till at least up till 2016 this was written in uh, Visual C++ with their own custom library so let's uh, create a new project as before okay we are going to choose an MFC application so I'll just highlighted that. I'm going to click next. And let's call this as a MDI app. It stands for multiple document interface. And I'll say create. Okay. And once you come on this screen, so by default it shows multiple documents. That's exactly what I want. And here you can uh, choose some customization if you want to. So if you go into the option called as user interface features. So command bar, what do you want on the command bar? So use a classic menu, use a ribbon. Let's choose a ribbon so that we get a Microsoft Outlook style window. We don't want the window to be split. Let's see what's in the advanced features. I think we are fine. Uh, let's select the navigation pane as well and the caption bar yeah so to show the maximum uh, potential of uh, this application or of uh, this framework i think that should be it and uh, let's choose finish so is, this is going to generate all the default classes and the methods to give us a empty application which you can then use as a template for your you just have to you just need to customize it for your own usage the, uh, depending on what you are trying to achieve but this will just uh, generate all the classes with all the resources and everything and if we just build it by default it should give us uh, what we want so here you can see all the classes and all all the header files and everything has been generated for us uh, i don't want to give any feedback now and This is the main frame of the window. So as you can see, 
Visual Studio itself is a multiple document interface window. You have a tree view here. Here you have a window itself. This is another window here. This is another window here. And there is another window here at the bottom. So that is exactly what we are trying to create to write an application which uh, looks similar to Microsoft Visual Studio. So, and by using this option, you can do exactly do that. And let's do a build of that. So, okay, so I'll rebuild the solution. As you can, uh, as you can imagine, uh, this is not something for the faint hearted really. I mean, uh, it will, this is going to take time, uh, take time. And this, this kind of user interfaces usually involve large teams. I mean, it is a group of developers who work on these features and other on such kind of a user interface UIs. But this is just to show you what is involved in creating such applications, uh, such user interfaces. And if I run this now, it should launch any minute now. So here it is. An application created with MFC framework, a modern looking application. So we have created an application under Windows 11 with Microsoft MFC, a multiple document interface application. So on the left hand side, you have a tree, tree view. So this is the default behavior, how it populates and everything. So as you can see, similar very similar to microsoft outlook style and you have get everything all the classes are generated for you and all this there and if you want to create a new tab here you can uh, put from here so just go and click this icon and it will create new tabs here for you and this can display whatever you want to display here and you can switch between two tabs here this is the property sheets and you can sort them or you can arrange them anyway. You can look at methods. This is the default view. And this is the bottom pane, which is also tabbed. So you can display stuff here. And you have two tabs here, file view and a class view. So you can switch between these two tabs here. So this is what we mean by multiple document interface. And you also get a calendar here calendar this is folders and this is the calendar view you can just uh, browse through the calendars and this is the in the folder view and these are the menus here you can which allows you to switch between the windows and you can copy and paste so this is very similar to and you can choose a style from here as well so these are different styles available so let's see what happens when we select the windows 7 style so it is supposed to change the color themes and all the way this window appears and looks. It allows you to do that. Uh, let's go uh, blue style, Office 2007. So this is what Outlook used to look like a few years ago with all these color themes and everything. And I'll go and select aqua style. So here you can see all the colors changing, all the themes are applied automatically. So yeah, if you want to create such an application, I don't know how one can do in uh, Windows Presentation Foundation. I mean, yeah, if you are one of those experts who have created such an application, yeah, please, uh, if you can put something in the comments, it would be nice of you, really. I mean, the only way I know how to create such an application, such a complex graphical application is through C++ and MFC. So if anybody of you if uh, has ever created an application using a C Sharp a MDI application, I would love to hear from you guys, really. And this is what this video was trying to be about, uh, how to create such an application. So I'll close this and go back to Visual Studio. So yeah, so this is how Microsoft Visual Studio itself would have been created as we can see now. And yeah, and here is the code. So it's, it's one of those complicated things which you can't uh, explain to people 
in small YouTube videos, but this is just to show you. Uh, this is just a starting point, really. How can you do such a thing? Uh, how we can create such applications? Hopefully, I'm, uh, this should have made you curious, and if you are interested, you can pursue this further. I will try to cover this in my future videos, just to uh, explain what these classes are and what they do, and what if you want to add your own functionality, if you want to add your own tabs, how do you, how can you manage such, uh, do such thing in in an MDI framework, what to do. So yeah, and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will see you shortly. Thank you very much for watching and cheers. Bye-bye.